Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm Hua Wen, I'm from Taiwan. I have a background in fine arts. I'm really happy to share with all of you my thesis capstone project, The Color in You. So summarize about my thesis statement is using body sensors to connect with our emotions and reaction and also using interactive storytelling experience to help people to slow down, enhance mindfulness, and start the journey toward growth and self-healing. So about my subject is mindfulness. So what is mindfulness? Uh, many people will think about mindfulness um, equals to uh, meditation, but actually mindfulness means maintain the moment by moment and also awareness of our thoughts, feelings, body sensations. And also the most important thing is that mindfulness involves acceptance. It means we need to pay attention about our thoughts, feelings without judging them. And the client I choose is the art therapy project. Their mission is healing through art. So basically they are helping people who has the challenge or have so difficult to express their emotions. So they can use the art um, making process to helping people to deal with the uh, situation. And for the venue is in the Vanderbilt Hall located in Grand Central Terminal. So this is a really great opportunity for um, this art because is more than 20,000 people pass by here every day, especially tourists and commuters. So the target audiences I was focusing on employees in New York City, especially commuters, and the secondary will be tourists. So when I do research about um, how people in New York City to manage their stress because we all know that New York City is the most stressed city in the States. And the first thing comes up is turn to music. So that is the reason why I use audio experience to about the whole exhibition. So the big idea, everything starts with you. This exhibition provides an opportunity for people to accept themselves and begin the healing journey. So just to clarify about what is the connection between my client and my subject is body sensors. So for all of the goals, um, you can see more detailed um, later, but um, I just want to point out some really important thing. So for project goals, I was focusing on redefine what is mindfulness. And for education goals, I was trying to helping people knowing the importance of mindfulness. And for experience goal, um, is focusing on how to use sensation experience to connect with visitors' emotions and keep them stay in the present moment. And just one sentence is to really simple included my interpret interpretive approach is using touch, sight, and hearing to start a new mindfulness journey. So here is the concept bubble diagram. So each of the area will be a quote to kind of like remind people when they experience the whole exhibition. So for their visitor experience, they will start with stress. And when they go through everything, they will feel more self-awareness. So let's jump into the design. So the entry of this exhibition, it will, be, it will be a chance to help people to feel life isn't complicated, we are. Because people can see their self, reflect on the two um, transparent um, materials. So people can see themselves reflect on the material and also see some people inside the exhibition. 
so this gives visitor a feeling of what's happening inside and also feel more willing to get into the space. And the main structure was built with stress, stress and also um, using sound observing fleece to maintain the space is more immersive. And also the main wall was built with the blackboard and carton paper. And when people get into the space, they will see a QR code um, to start an audio experience. So when people scan the QR code, they will see the six different um, colors of lights, and each of the colors represent each of the activities. So when people click the lights, they will show uh, it will show the um, title of the experience and also the following content about what is the meaning of this activity and also what will you experience in this area. So the first thing called when you change, the world changes with you too. So this is really simple to use the different color shades to help visitors to have a sense of if you see the different perspective you will have different um, thoughts. And the second one called uh, Right Here, Right Now. So this one is transfer from the art therapy process. So people can slow down to draw their feelings and the digital panel will be connected with the projection ma mapping. So when people doing the um, drawing process, it will be directly um, projection project on the wall to give visitor a feeling of um, half immersive experience. And the next one called we don't remember days, we remember moments. So this space give visitor a chance to slow down, they can write their feelings and after that they can choose to leave it in the side wall or put it into the paper shoulder. And when people put it into the paper shelter, it will go straight up to the container called the bottle up emotions. So this area is collect all the visitors' emotions. And the next one called uh, what will you hear when you turn around? So this area basically is giving visitor a sense of um, what we forgot in our daily life. So each of the area will be a quote, um, it will be it will be a question and the answer is a sound. So for example, do you remember the sound of leaves falling from the trees? So um, it's kind of like remind people about how we forgot the sound from our surroundings. And the next one called you are the answer. So these three individual um, booths is give a visitor a chance to practice the meditation. So when, pe when people get into the space, they can choose 8, 12, or 15 minutes. It depends on what time you want to, how long you want to spend in this experience. So after they choose the time, it will be an audio and video to guide you about how to practice meditation in your daily life. And the last one called happiness is a choice. So these three uh, panel, people can use their hands with their heat to put it to the put it on the panel. So it will show the color inside the people. So according to the color, people can People can um, take a takeaway card and the takeaway card on the front of the takeaway card will be a quote to remind people about mindfulness in your daily life. And on the other side of the card, it will be a QR code. So when people scan the QR code, um, it will be a 21 days morning quote to kind of like remind people to 21 days about this experience. Um, why is 21 days? Because based on my research, uh, when people need to start a new habit, it needs to be um, continued till 21 days. So it will be like 
um, people's habits to continue to um, stay with them. So after all the experience, the exit way will be a wall, uh, will be a, a crude projection uh, project on the wall. And it's kind of like a, a takeaway course to every visitors. So everything starts with you. Now it's the best moment to start the mindful life. So jumping to the graphic. So the graphic, I just want to point out two really important things. The one thing is color and the other one is pattern. So the color I choose is from bright to dark, but maintain the neutral balance, give visitor a sense of inclusive, softness, and relaxation. And the pattern, I was really inspired by the tree rings, because tree rings um, means a symbol of growth, memories, and tense. And using watercolor inside to give visitor a sense of uh, my client, the art therapy project, and also the uh, feeling of emotions connected. And the logo is really simple, but use the second layer about the color and view. It is also uh, connect with my um, entry of the exhibition. So everything, every color and every emotions is reflect from yourself. So this is a collateral and also some posters, wayfinding in Grand Central Terminal and the, all, the whole um, the, the whole um, renderings and at the end of the presentation, I want to leave this quote to all of you. The thing you can see only when you slow down. So I hope this exhibition gave visitors a feeling of um, how to use mindfulness in their everyday life. Thank you for your time to um, participate in my presentation. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me or we can connect in the LinkedIn. Thank you.